Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. In this video series, I'll be trying to print as many items from the Foss Cattle Library and other libraries and reviewing them, as well as giving those items to my Patreon supporters. Each part will have two videos, a short video and a long video. This is a short video. The long video is linked in the description. The long video is how the sausage gets made. Think of it more as a tutorial if you'd like to follow along. The short video is the meat and potatoes. Watch that video if you're just interested in seeing a review of the product. YouTube will most likely demonetize most of these videos, even ones that follow their guidelines. So please continue to support me by donating on Patreon and also for a chance to get any of these products that I make. Without further ado, let's get started. What are we making today? Glad you asked. Main file, miscellaneous, rail mounted foregrip. Let's do it. So this would be the part where uh, I show you the finished product and I put it on my rifle and we review it. Uh, but unfortunately it broke already. So it, it went on pretty nice. We put some, uh, uh, I'm not sure, I think M4 bolts in here. Um, they threaded in nice. It, it seemed to hold on fine. And then when I gave it a nice good, but when I gave it a nice good tug, it, uh, it broke on this seam line, which is arguably the weakest point on this print. So a little bit of reviews. It, it feels very nice, um, actually. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how well um, your hand held onto it. One thing that I wish, though, is I wish it had maybe one more notch to just give me an option if I wanted to go up or down. Um, and then these little squares are very pointy. They You have to hold up on that, and you're either digging into the web of your thumb or you're digging into your finger. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's really uncomfortable. So you can see here on this thin layer line where it broke. Now that's understandable. That was arguably the weakest part of this print. So uh, there'll be another video where I'm going to take and I'm going to improve on this print. So one thing that we're going to do uh, is we're going to take and we're going to cap the bottom, but we're still going to keep these two lines on the inside. And what that's going to do is it's going to let us print in any orientation we really want to, but it will also still keep these, you know, inner wall and outer walls for stability. Uh, we're going to round these edges. This can be a little bit bigger and those edges can be round and this can be perfectly fine. As well as we're going to add some um, almost like grooves to the outside of those two parts. Just so that way, you know, because right now the layer lines are like this. So it, it can completely bend. We just want to add just a little bit of support. Um, just so it can't bend that way. You'll hardly even be able to feel it. It'll honestly just be like two layer lines shifted over. Uh, but watch out for that video. We'll do that. So design quality, we're going to go with two out of five. All right. There's some things that could have been done differently, but overall, I like it. I understand that this was probably a, uh, a hard thing to, to model for someone. Um, so I'm going to hand it that two out of five. It went on easy. Like I said, it felt fine. If you're doing like a 3D printed firearm and you want to you know, have all the 3D printed accessories on it, this is a great option. I would I would download this. Um, I would download mine that I'm going to fix uh, and, and then you'll be fine. Um, overall item usage. Once again, we're going to stay with two, th two out of five on that one. Overall usage, we're going to stick with that. Two out of five. Total score, two out of five. Would I print this? Eh, yeah, I'd print one, but I'd fix it a little bit. So thanks for watching Cheap Shot.